every city in the desert where people are coming. Anywhere else in the world, it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. It's a city, it's, um, and these people will make the city even bigger tonight. Can you ask her if she has been vaccinated? We have achieved a lot together, but there's still a lot we need to improve every day. So, so what we're seeing is, is um, many more refugees coming across, uh, wounded, injured, traumatised. Welcome. So I work for you and I hope I do a good job while I'm here, and I'll do my best. Well, Can you tell me what happened to your family? We're displaced and we're refugees, I understand, but we just need a solution for the children. Where? Okay, we'll come over here. I need you here. Just another day. Yes. <laughs> I'd just like to thank everyone for coming today. I know it's um, it's often very tough to come out to Zartri, um, but it's a very special day today because it's um, it's World Refugee Day. The crisis here in Jordan and across this region is the most acute humanitarian crisis in the world today. 1.6 million people have poured out of Syria with nothing but the clothes on their back, and more than half of them are children. And this is one reason for us to raise our voices, as Angelina Jolie has just made, has just done, to say that political leaders around the world need to overcome their differences and need to unite efforts to make sure that this war stops, to make sure that there is a political solution allowing for the Syrian people to determine their future and their destiny. <laughs> They're coming, uh, she said her family, the whole family is coming now. <laughs> ah, good strong voice. No. Oh. Congratulations. What was your life like before in Syria? What, what, what did you do in your home? When the war started, you stayed as long as you could, is that correct? You wanted to stay? It's a difficult choice to um, to, to have to leave your country, a difficult choice to flee, even even in war, very difficult to accept you have to leave your home. Mm. The most difficult thing about living in this camp? <laughs> Everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> what do they have for the children in the camp? 60,000 kids in this camp. That means, well, there should be 30,000 of them going to school every day. It seems only 5,000 really go to school. And it means there's a lot of bored kids out here. We need people to sort of see that it's much more important to provide support on the humanitarian front than almost on any other front. Hey, can you ask, was she going to school before she came across? Okay. Do you want to go to school in Jordan? Yes, sure. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. What we need to do is get money into helping these poor children that, are, that have come across with absolutely nothing. So, yeah, no, it's tough. We've got to keep moving on. I do this job because I love to put smiles on people's faces. I hope now in Jordan you will find safety.
and I hope that there will be peace in the city. The thing is that we have to punch it from the, on the 32 and it's already torn. The police has to tell them to, to go back and stop this demonstrating business.